Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, that last run was so bad, I'd really like to just take Mage again and do better, but I haven't done Druid in a long time, so let's check that out. Let's see what kind of stuff I can get. Um, I think the Arcane Golem is probably the strongest out of these guys. I mean, the, the Adventurer could be awesome, depending on what I get. I have no idea what I'm going to get. Uh, out of these guys, I'm going to go Brewmaster. He has a lot of potential. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, wow. Uh, he, they're not the greatest. We'll take the Haunted Creeper because it's annoying. Nothing else. It also goes well with Power of the Wild. I guess we go well with Soul of the Forest, potentially, but do that. The Innervate for the early Power Win, or the Stormwind Champion for the late game power. Uh, probably win more games by cheesing something out with Innervate, but it's another, it's kind of a dead, yeah, it goes both ways, right? Let's make sure I have something fat to innervate first. Um, I'm going to take the wolf rider, he can kill something. I really want that spider tank, but another power of the wild. I'm starting to get a lot of, to I've got some tokens, I've got a lot of things that benefit tokeny guys. I might try and get more of that stuff. I hate passing a spider tank. Especially since, why couldn't one of these guys be a spider tank? Um, whatever, force tank. It's no spider tank, but I guess I'll take it. Harvest Golem is pretty solid. Hungry Crab, obviously. Now we take the Ancient of Card Drawing. The Ancient of Smashing. Now my deck is getting really fat and expensive. We'll see how that works out. Uh, that's no good. Blue Doctor it is. Uh, I don't have any mechs yet, so actually none of these guys are particularly good for me. Theoretically, I should probably take the Gargoyle, because I could get some Druid buffs for him, but I don't know. I think I'm going to take the Tinker Time Technician. I do technically have a Golem. Uh, I've got a couple of or mechs, I should say. I've got the Force Tank and the Harvest Golem, but I could get more. That's the theory. Distracted myself. Okay. Do not have the spell power, spell damage craziness. I would have to have a lot of spell damage to start thinking about Moonfire, because it's still pretty weak for a card. Said. Yeah, half backstab is not very good. I have a lot of expensive fat guys. I don't think this is what I want. I think I'm actually better off taking the River Croc to help me help me with my mana curve. Um wow. The nullifier is a good tank, like he can taunt some stuff and help me, but the Ezra Drake draws me a card, which is amazing. He does tend to, like, get outfought by things. Like, it's easier to kill him with small things. It's easier to kill him with a big thing. It doesn't care about the damage, so... Yeah, I guess we'll take the one that draws us a card. I don't think this is the right deck for a zombie chow. Uh, let's go Dragonling... No, I don't have any taunt, do I? This is expensive taunt. I do have, like, super expensive taunt, but... It's very expensive taunt. I think I'm going to take the Dragonling mechanic. I don't have a lot of 4-cost power. She gives me more tokens for my Power of the Wilds. Powers of the Wild. Power of the Wild. I don't know. Whatever. Um... I guess we're going to take the Starfire. I keep avoiding the Darkscale Healer. She would probably be useful. I have a bunch of big fat things, but she's just kind of expensive, and my little things are not going to benefit that much from it. I'm going to take the Starfire. It's a way to finish a person, and it does draw a card. Uh, could take Wild Growth. If you get late in the game, you just save it and draw a card when you're at max mana, or early in the game it would help me get out this stuff faster. It's another one where it's not a whole card, though. I'm going to go with the Dragonling mechanic. Just go for more, sort of more slow and steady. We are going to take the Brewmaster over the Force Tank, though. I already have look, four guys that cost seven or more, and a bunch of other expensive stuff. So I think the Brewmaster is maybe more called for. Or is he? You know what? Maybe I should go with the Salty Dog. He does pr have a lot of power there if he gets out there and isn't killed. And five men is probably a better place. I've got a bunch of... Well, I don't have that many twos. It's not like crazy. I also don't have that many battle cries that would be worth using him for, but... Now let's take the Brewmaster. 
more castable. Pi we gotta take the pilot of Sky Little. Thing is a death machine. Literally. <sighs> Matter bomber is dumb. Fine size summoners just gonna die. You know what? I might take the alarm robot. Now the Ancient of Lore doesn't want to be alarm robotted, but other than that, we pretty good for those guys. It does count as a mech for the Tinker Town Technician. Someone might waste their time killing. This is stupid, but I'm going to take the Alarm Robot, because who knows. Seems kind of dumb to have taken the Alarm Robot and not the Innervate, which is like a much better Alarm Robot, but whatever. The opponent might, might has to spend something to kill the Alarm Robot. Um, Frostwolf Warlord is just, he's just better than the Raid Leader, even though I might have some tokens, I also might not. Do I take the Tide Hunter? Who does give add to the token thing, but I probably need the taunt more, honestly, and the harvest golem would be another mech, and he's like a solid fighting machine. I might need the taunt more though. I think my deck is gonna be a little bit on the slow side there. Damn. I really want to take the harvest golem. I don't have that much that benefits from Max, mostly just him. He's 4-4 four, four with his stats for that mana. He's 1-7 with stats, so it's still 8 points of stats. I think i got to take the Warden. I think I'm going to need that taunt to stay alive. I mean, it's iffy, like, when you're going to get stuff. Do I take the Mark of Nature? That would give me another taunt. Then we get infantry would give me a bad taunt, but this could turn anything into a potentially good taunt and very tough, and it can also be used as pay three mana, deal an extra four damage one or more times. I think I better take the mark of nature. I think that was a really slow response to me clicking it. Okay, Dark Iron Dwarf. He's a pretty easy pick. He's solid. Swipe. Oh man, I'd like the Shield Master, but we need more swipes. Like another three swipes. Possibly seven swipes. Am I going to be able to milk Soul of the Forest? I think it's too messed up. I think I'm better off taking the Silver Hand Knight. And he can get out there and fight for me. Soul of the Forest is just too messed up. Um, I don't have that much cheap stuff. I have one thing they could buffer, which is really lame, but... Maybe I should take the Squire. Maybe I should take the Healing Touch, just the, like delaying action later in the game. Or I could just have more big things to fight with. Let's just take more big things to fight with. Whatever, that's how I like it. Um, all of these are excellent. I think that what this deck may need is more stalling, and that means Anoyatron. And, ooh. Sea Giant is very good. Yeah, I might have some token things. It makes it more likely that I could get them out for 6 mana or something. 6 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Awesome. The Recombobulator is really interesting. You get a 3-2 two for 2, which you could just do. But if you have a friendly minion out there, especially one that's used a battle cry or something, you can potentially turn it into something good. Ugh. I mean, if you have like a if you have a big thing that's taking a bunch of damage, and now it's all beat up. Transforming it would be very strong. All those silver hand knights, dragonling mechanics, they could be a lot better recombobulated. Especially if they get to attack first. The ancient of lore, jeez. Sea Giant is more straightforward. The Recombobulator is more interesting. I think just for the interesting factor, I'm going to take him. I should probably have taken the Sea Giant, but he's very flexible. So this deck has a lot of fighting power, although it's really more late game. Like, it doesn't have the kind of middle game strength that I really usually want. It has more and it gets into the fives. It has a good number of large, big things, but I've got to survive till then, which is why I took the Mogushan and the Anoyatron over some other very solid picks. Maybe I should have gone the other way, taking the Harvest Golem and the Murlocs, the Murloc duo, or the 
Fairy Dragon and just gone all that way, just have more aggression, and then follow it up with big things, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to be glad to have had the taunt stuff to hopefully keep me in the game long enough to start dropping big fatties. No Innervade, no other thing. I've got expensive Starfire. I don't really want Starting Hand Recombobulator, but if I pitch him, it could get worse. So I guess I'm going to keep him. We're going to pitch the Starfire, and we're going to keep the Brewmaster too, because he's a, he's a four drop. Technically, he could Recombobulate him. Like this guy is just, he's really flexible. Now he's also really random. He can totally just screw you every time. But there's a lot of potential for, say, if I Wolf Rider hit my opponent for three and then recombobulate it into something maybe better. That's, like, kind of lame, if just using him for damage, but it's doable, you know. They're just, you have options. I'm probably not, though. I'm probably just going to have to play him as a two drop. Hmm. Playing out what? Put this apple on your head. Ugh. Yeah. If I can just get him out there and hopefully that get hopefully okay. take care of the knife juggler, that would be nice. Damn it. Ooh. No, that's not really so good. I mean, I could mark him up to a 3-5, kill that, and then he's down to a 3-2 again, and he'll just get killed by this. I don't know if that's a good use of my mark of nature. What to do? Better off saving it for something that can maybe survive multiple things. I'm going to take a whole bunch of damage in the meantime, though. I mean, I could spend... I could waste the Wolf Rider. Either way, they'd be a waste. But I could actually just genuinely clear the board then, and then have nothing to buff with him. Awesome. What to do? I. Th uh, it's also taunt. He doesn't have the choice to ignore it either. Giving it attack and doing seven damage would be fun, except that it's a knife juggler, so he's got a good chance to just do one damage and kill my guy. I'm going to I'm for a do that, and I'm just going to deliver some beats. This has got to be a stupid move. But he might leave it alive, hit me back, and then I Dark Iron Dwarf and hit him for five, and then I don't know how I'm actually getting ahead out of this game. Or I could hit him and then get this back. Or no, he's going to kill him now because he's got that guy to protect. Definitely. So, that worked out okay. Um, Dark Iron's got a pretty darn good power. I think I'm going to play the Brewmaster. He'll probably just kill it. It's not like he can heal his guy. They're both very good. Uh, like, either one was going to be wasted here. We're just having, like, a slogging match. Hmm. We got Paladin. Let me think. We got a handful of things that are not minions. Okay, shield lock could be annoying. It is a good buff receptacle. Yeah, I kind of expected him to do that trade. I am definitely not building up forces as I might like. Um, just making a 3-2 would be pretty poor. I could make a 3-2, and I could boost it to a 3-7 taunt. Such a waste of cards and stuff, but I think that's actually probably the best option I got right now. So those guys don't do much damage without a Blessing of Kings. He probably has a Blessing of Kings. It's a 3-6. Can't even do math. Good job. Stoop as four. Yeah. He had a three. It was confusing me. Hammer of Wrath. Well, that's unfortunate. 
He's just going to spend his 1-1 one, one in a bubble. So that didn't cost him very much. And he actually drew a card from his Hammer of Wrath, so I got way behind on that exchange. Um, just Zorch him for 5. That seems like a bad use of that. Playing him is kind of a bad use of that, but... Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. He's 4-4. Four, four, he's a little bit bigger. It's just that little bit extra to get rid of him. Although I guess... He's going to get consecrated or something. Well, it means he can't just get killed by a hammer of wrath, whereas this guy could. But they can both be killed by a sword. And this guy would seem like a much better use of the sword, so they can't win. You don't psychically know what's in your opponent's hand. You just have to make stupid choices. I guess I'm mostly hoping I get a mech to uh, buff him. Like that. That is unpleasant. 4-4 four, four, and a free spare part. And a spider tank, and this is starting to look bad. I didn't have that many mechs to choose from. I guess I got a decent number of mechs, but mine are all kind of on the high end and not great. So, I think this time I'm going to spend this. I'm going to blow that up, get a card. He can kill that, and that'll reduce the enemy force from a lot to not very much. Painful though it is. And he'll probably end up trading this to kill him. Because doing one damage for a paladin is not that convenient unless they have one of their reinforcements out. Damn it. I want him to get a card from it. I don't know. I feel like he's getting ahead in the judo here. He, does, he has more cards and he's the one with stuff on the board. I'm not doing so great there. And whatever I play to deal with that, he's going to get to draw an extra card at least. No, he's going to get to draw two cards from losing these guys and get a spare part. He's just going to clean my clock on cards. I guess I could play... I was thinking of playing him and have the one seven there block them, but it's going to do so badly because he can take it out and draw a billion cards in the process. I, might as well, I could get out an army sort of this way. And the Dragonling counts as a mech for this guy. We got a spare part. And it's the emergency coolant. It may seem kind of silly, but I'm going to emergency coolant this guy. Because now my opponent can't trade him for this and draw a card. This guy does more damage, but two doesn't kill either of them any better. I'm hoping I'm denying him a card from that, and then I'll be able to find a way to kill this if he doesn't, like, consecrate me or something. So it looks like it's coming, though. Yep. Damn it. Please tell me this guy will live to kill the Cult Master. No, he's a Blessing of King Super Cult Master. Super King Kamehameha Cult Master. Awesome. Do it with the swipe? Uh, I totally can't. Oh no, that, yeah, no, he's got only six defense, so I can totally do it with the swipe. Excellent. No, wait. Gotta make sure they die at the same time so he doesn't get the card. Do I play this guy and heal myself? I, because he's behind the taunt, so the one ones aren't gonna kill him as easily. I'm going to do this. I think it would be better to save him and heal this guy, but i got to get something on the board. Try and take advantage while I can against my opponent's billion cards and free minions. I kill the free minions, but I've needed my mana a lot. That is a lot of crap. With counting their death rattles and stuff. Is this going to reduce my guy to one hit point? Because that's going to be annoying if that's what happens. I'm just going to hit this. It's not killing it, which is kind of lame, but... Worst tank... Actually, I guess I can kill it. I mean, it's going to get, it's going to get revived and it's going to bite. But you might as well get rid of the four one. 
Yeah, yeah. What a shock. It comes back with one health, so I could just kill it again. Which is gonna hurt, but then it's gone. Let me get some more stuff. And he gets another beast! He As if he gets two random things and they manage to combo. That is insane, because he can now use this to pop the bubble. Get his hyena bigger, because why not? Ugh. And of course, because it died on him. On my turn, I need to get attack already. Wow, just got too much crap. This guy can kill my thing. Not that it matters, because he's just going to kill me pretty soon. Ah, sucks so bad. Nope, that's not going to do it. Um... I guess my, in, my only chance for survival is really to get another emergency coolant out of this. And that'll only buy me a turn. Uh, no, Rusty Horn could also help me survive a little bit. I think I should make this guy eat an attack. I mean, it'd be better to do it on a panther, except that he's stealth, so the taunt doesn't count. If I were going to survive, it would be nice for this thing to live. In practice, it's not going to work out anyway. This is a little silly, because if he has a Consecrate, he can kill this, whereas Consecrate wouldn't do this, and he'd still have to waste one of his guys. He can probably kill me this turn anyway, though. He'll find a way. He, has a, he still has a million cards. Mm -hmm. I have none. Maybe for seven, he just needs like a hammer or sword or just about anything. Wow. Just like insult to injury. Couldn't steal one of the one ones. Leave me looking like I have a chance, sort of, even though I really shouldn't. Awesome. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Well, that was a pretty bad mad bomber, but not bad enough to save me. It's not even close. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, Noetron does not buy enough time in this case. to kill me right now. He doesn't have to do anything. But he has plenty of time to. That did not go well. This stuff was a little bit too efficient for me with all those crazy death rattles. Well, hopefully later I can do something, do the same thing to somebody else with this guy next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.